Let's play hide and go seek. Oh, I love playing hide and seek. You count to ten while I go hide. Then try to find me. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay, ready or not, here I come. Oh, you're right there. You didn't really move, did you? Hey guys, welcome back to an all new Absolute Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the all new Unitree Go To. That is right, the same company we've seen at CES showcasing some of their latest products in which they sent us the all new Go To to review. Now we recently reviewed some different quadruped robots, but this one here is definitely one of the top ones. In fact, it's probably one of the most intelligent ones, featuring a LiDAR right here off the bat, as well as the capability to go ahead and do voice commands, even a beacon. Now together we see exactly what this thing is about. Now it comes in three different versions. This one here particularly is the Pro model, meaning it does have more bells and whistles than the basic model, but still not the educational platform that they also offer to sell. Now, together we'll be unboxing it, as well as trying it out and showcasing all the different facts and as well as the different tricks that it can do. So if you guys wanted your very own, check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and rewind and unbox this thing. Hey guys, check it out. So this is the packaging, this is the box. Pretty cool, it says go to a new intelligent creature. Robotic dog. But yes, <laughs> uh, definitely really cool. Kind of shows it kind of standing about. It looks really intimidating, but definitely very futuristic. Now, the packaging itself does come with the handle on the top, so you can technically carry it about just like this. But other than that, it's pretty simple. If you go ahead and flip it over, we'll show you on this side here kind of how it looks like it's standing. Uh, really interesting. You got that LiDAR, you got the camera, uh, and it says go to on the side. And on this side here, it talks about it a little bit more in terms of detail. So it does feature a 4D LiDAR L1, so it can detect its environment around it. Uh, this being the Pro model, it does come in different variations based on what you're looking for. Uh, it's got voice interaction. Well, this specific one has voice interaction. Uh, it's got a camera, it does intelligent side follow so in other words it comes with a beacon it's got an application so you can use an app or you can use the controller that if these are all optional features but yes this one here has a controller which we'll be looking at and then of course Bluetooth connectivity Wi-Fi connectivity long endurance with good battery life and then over here just kind of shows all the different components that are included well, let's open this thing up Very uh, common among a lot of the other different robots we've seen before. You've got the styrofoam case. This one here does say Unitree Go 2. Uh, the only unique kicker behind this one is if you look at the, this side over here, you'll notice it does have wheels. And then if you actually go ahead and flip it over on this side here, it'll even come with a handle. So you can use this almost like a suitcase kind of deal and kind of carry it about without having to worry about like kind of hauling it as it is kind of heavy. On this side over here, just go ahead and open it up by simply doing that. And then doing that and then this will just go ahead and open up just like that so this here's everything that you get so you do see your robotic dog here looking really cool of course and then you have all your different accessories that are included everything's nice at your disposal now just kind of diving right into it so on the bottom side here you do have a user manual uh, which also includes a USB-C to USB-A cord for charging the controller I believe and then over here it talks about more in terms of detail just kind of looking at everything else here. So on the bottom left, we do have our charger. So this here is just gonna be a standard charger. It doesn't come with an actual base for charging, but it does come with a wire that will plug directly into the battery. And then this here is our battery. Pretty hefty looking battery. Uh, you do have your status indicator here. So you do see the four dots. When you press that button, it'll go ahead and show. Right now it looks like it is full, so that's great. And then on the back side here, this will actually plug into the robot. And then this here will be for the charger port. Features almost like, looks like a three pin connector or four pin connector. Uh, so let's go ahead and plug right in and that's about it. Now moving on, uh, obviously we do have a robot, but we also have our controller. Uh, kind of gives me like, almost like a drone like vibe controller. Like especially with that kind of like aerial feel right over there. 
Uh, you have your R2 triggers, L2, L1 trigger, and then you have your X, Y, A, B, start, F3, F1, select, and then your actual analog controls. And then over here shows all the different like shortcuts is the way I would describe it. So it tells you the different tricks. So if you hold L2 and X, it'll stand up from a fall. L2 and A, it'll do a stretch. So different functions, which you can also technically do via the app. Now it doesn't come with a screen, which is a bit unfortunate, but you can use your phone, which is actually where it kind of goes here. So the way that works, it'll kind of open up like that and you'll place your phone in there. I think you can also put on an iPad too, or like a tablet, so that's kind of nice. But yeah, we'll be doing that in just a little bit. So pretty cool stuff. And then that will just kind of go back in here, just like this. And then over here we have, looks like our beacon if it wants to come out. All right, and then over here we have our beacon. So this is cool. So this is like a little controller kind of deal. Uh, but the way this works is that the robot will respond to this. In other words, you keep this on your side and it'll follow it. Like it'll just stay, it'll go around you. Uh, it'll walk next to you. And then uh, it'll even have different variation of commands built into it, which is kind of cool because um, it kind of gives it a very unique perspective as if it's uh, actual following you rather than you're physically controlling it. So that is nice that they do include that. And then of course, we do get our spare uh, sets of shoes, I guess, or feet as I would describe it. So if these do go bad, which I'm sure they would over time, you can go ahead and swap those out. And then we also got uh, this as well. So this here's our calibration tool. So one thing you want to do is before you use it, is always calibrate the robot uh, as uh, you know, it did take a long journey to get here. But uh, calibrating will at least make sure that it's standing straight, walking properly and things like that. So underneath the robot, uh, we actually have a stand. So this is kind of cool too. So uh, one thing I haven't really seen with any other robotic dogs is that it doesn't include a stand, uh, which makes it really hard to display in terms of not being able to use it. But uh, it looks like it's a three piece stand. So this will kind of go like that. And then this will go on the top. That is that in terms of a nutshell and what's included. Let's take the robot out next and take a closer look. All right. so. This is our robot on the stand. Pretty cool, makes great display purposes. Gives you an idea to kind of look at it without actually having to like sit down or turning it on. Long press and short press for two seconds. All right, so it is booting up. Okay. There we go. So this is our robot finally on. Pretty darn cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this to the next room and take a closer look at this thing and see what it can do. All right, so check it out. So this here is our robot finally on, and wow, this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the fact that it's got a very sleek design, and it's actually quite simple. So majority of every component is exposed, so you can see these actuators. Uh, so you do have the four actuators, and they actually have status LEDs kind of showing that they're working. You can hear the fan moving as it's working, keeping the robot nice and cool. Majority of all the mechanisms are gonna be in this component over here. Uh, and then you do have, of course, have your attachment ports here as well, so you can technically add on like a robotic arm and different things like that going forward. Now on the bottom here you have these stoppers so in case the robot does fall it will not damage the body. It does have a way to protect itself uh, and then of course you have these rubber components around the robot so if it does happen to slide it won't actually scrape the body. Now a majority of the mechanisms that we'll be seeing is more or less on the front of the robot. So you do see this beautiful looking LiDAR spinning about. Uh, again, you do not want to touch that, but yes, you can see how it's constantly revolving and it's actually scanning the room that we're in, kind of telling us exactly where it's at and then what it can see. So it can essentially react to different things in the room. So you have a status LED here, which is a green light. And then of course you do have your camera and that's actually showcasing everything there, which you can actually do a FPV view as you're using it. Now, other than that, on the side here, you do have your battery. And I mean, overall it is a really cool looking robot and I'm excited to go ahead and try this thing out. So let's take this thing down next and see what it can do. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. We got our unit tree here and you got our controller on. We can go ahead and turn on the power button here. There you are. So we have control over the robot using our remote control. So I can have it move forward. I can have it move back. And I can have it rotate just like this. So it's actually quite fast for what it is. Now I can also have it position itself like this. So up, down, left, right, and then based on how you want to do it, you can do it up to you. Now the app will give us a little bit more control of the robot itself, so I'm gonna go ahead and go, 
and it'll actually show us exactly what the robot is seeing. So right now, this is exactly what the robot is seeing in terms of the LiDAR scanning. If I click on the camera, I can actually see myself too. And surprisingly, she actually had a pretty good camera. Now I can take a picture, and so we'll go ahead and save in there. And then I can also control the robot using the app too, so I don't really need the controller. But again, it's really up to you and what you want to do with it. Now, besides that, I can obviously move it about. But if you see the buttons here on the bottom, you can click this, and these are different commands. So we have rollover, handshake, show heart, pounce, greet, dance, uh, lock on, damping, sit down, things like that. So for instance, if I just hit sit down here, the robot will sit down just like that. So that's kind of cool. And it's actually quite quick in terms of response goes. Now, the robot is actually quite sturdy, so I'm kind of pushing against it, and it's not like hesitating at all. It's not reacting like vigorously. It's actually controlling itself very, very well. Now, other than that, there's different things as well. So this here is going to be greet. <laughs> oh, I love how fast it is. To show you guys that one more time, this is your stretch. So it'll stretch and then it'll bring the rear legs forward, just like that. Show heart, so let's try that. We'll have it show this way. So this is gonna be like a little heart. So it actually makes a heart. <laughs> Jump forward. Whoa, that's so cool. Let's try that again. Well, I have him jump this way towards me. Forward now. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Uh, we have pounce, so let's go back just a little bit. And let's try pounce. Oh, cool. It's like, it like, like attack kind of deal. Handshake. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Roll around. Oh. Oh. So just like that, it kind of fell flat on its face. There we go. Stand back up. Beautiful. So that's one thing to know is that if it does fall like that, you can always bring it back up. There we go. Does a little... And then I'll get back up just like that. <laughs> so this here's dance one. Check out that footwork. Robot has moves. So this here's gonna be dance number two. So this here is going to be sit down. So you can see the robot sitting down. And you can have it stand back up. And then we have crouch down. So this will be like a resting state. And then we can get that back up. We have lock on. So now it won't actually like move or anything like that. So if you want to keep it stationary, that's exactly what it'll do. This here's pose. Pose will give us the capability to kind of move the robot in terms of like flexing. So you can go ahead and have it go that way. You can bring it up, down, left, right. And then you can also like flex it in different variations. So it's kind of cool that it does give you that also. So it's like a stand version. And then you have keep walking, you have run, keep running, and then you have climb. Now with keep walking, it'll constantly keep moving its feet, keep running, It'll keep running in a steady state just like that. So pretty cool stuff in terms of your basic commands goes. So that's all that's included there. Now, aside that in terms of the settings here, so you have different uh, settings as well. So you have obstacle avoidance. 
So you can hear it talking to us there saying that, you know, stop obstacle avoidance. Uh, we have a stop button here as well. And then your photo and your video, etc. Now, other than that, uh, under the settings here, you have your function. So if I click on function here, they have Ben Ben Dog, which is something you need to pay for. But if you click that here, you can talk to the robot as well. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Ready to entertain you with some fun tricks or dance moves. Just say the word. Play some music. Sure thing. Get ready to groove to the music. So it has a built-in speaker just like that, and you can actually hear it as well. So that's kind of cool. Can you dance to the music? Stop the music. That's so cool. Let's play hide and go seek. Oh, I love playing hide and seek. You count to ten while I go hide. Then try to find me. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> okay, ready or not, here I come. Oh, you're right there. You didn't really move, did you? Ha ha. You caught me? I must admit, as a virtual pet, I can't physically move to hide. But I can definitely entertain you with other fun activities. All right, well, what do you want to do next? Enough of that. So that's kind of cool. So it has its own little pet that's built into it that's virtually. And uh, it's actually quite interactive, pretty interesting. So if uh, it's this equivalent to like, um, it uses the basic programming that's built into it in terms of the movements, and it'll incorporate that with the virtual pet, which is actually kind of unique. Now, under programming, you'll have your blocky base, from my understanding. Yep, there you are. So you have your if-then situations, you have your actions. Uh, for instance, if I start and I hit stretch, I can actually use a simulator here, which is kind of cool, and I can actually see what's happening in the simulator without actually applying it to my dog. So what I can do then is I can actually apply that to the particular robot and then see how it works and then name it just like that. And yeah, I mean, you have a lot of different things in here that you can do. So it has all the actions. It shows the different colors that you change the headlights. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's actually great in terms of STEM education aspects. So it does give you a little bit more out of the robot. But again, more or less blocky than anything. So just drag and drop kind of situation. So you can add your programming there. You have your remote control. So this is a little bit different. This is identical to what we were seeing earlier. However, it does show you everything up front. So these are all the different variations of movements. You have your lights, you have your controls this way that you can use, kind of up to you and how you want to do that. So besides that function, you have a robotic arm. So they have an attachment that you can add onto this robot, which is a robotic arm. So you can pick up objects. Unfortunately, we don't have that, but that is absolutely cool. So you can expand on this robot. And that is in terms of function go. Now, if I go into device settings, these are specific robotic settings that I can use. I can name it. Um, I can do it in AP mode. I can do Wi-Fi mode. So if I'm out and about and I want to control it that way, I could do that as well. Um, I have your, da your data. So this here will show the exact data of the robot. So in terms of the percentage and communication quality and the calibration, offset, configuration things of that nature, and same with remote control. So you can switch between the different modes. You have your UWB, your battery, and then you have your audios. Uh, so a voice assistant, wake up words. So this here is the LiDAR, which will kind of give you exact readouts of how fast it's working and different functions and you know aspects of the robot, which is really nice because then it gives you a little bit more basic or more in-depth information on the robot. Now you have your control settings, which will show us all the different things of the robot. So if I press this button here, you can see how it corresponds with what the robot is doing. And if I go back here, um, I have an alarm information. So these are different things in terms of if there's any uh, warnings that the robot is trying to identify to us that needs to attention. So I'll show you there. Same with our service status. And then of course we can share with friends. And then you have your gallery, which are for the photos as well as the videos that you've previously recorded with the robot. 
And I mean, it's kind of cool because everything's there. You have me, which is like feedback, user, about the app. And then of course it just show the percentage of the battery. And then of course it has your battery as well as your guide. So how to go ahead and use the robot and do different things with it. So let's go ahead and see what this thing can do in terms of climbing stairs next. Now, previously any other robotic dog we've seen was not able to do so, but this year will be the very first. And uh, these aren't actually crazy big steps, but hopefully it works out. Let's try it out. So we're gonna go ahead and position the robot by the stairs, just like this. And then I'm gonna go into our climb mode and let's see if this works. Nope, it seems to be struggling. So it does climb one stair, but it's having trouble bringing itself up to the next step. Try it again. All right, it looks like it's doing some, something. Crashed the wall pretty bad. Okay, well, that, that was a fail. Unfortunately, it was not able to climb our stairs, but um, I can imagine climbing smaller steps, which we can try, I guess, outside. Okay, so for this test here, we're gonna try climbing these stairs outside and see if it works better with a little bit more space. All right, let's see what it can do. All right, one step, good job. Oh, 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 there you go. Uh, uh. Oh, no. <laughs> but it does show that it is capable of going up the stairs. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna actually see if we can go down the stairs. Okay, so maybe stairs is not its strength, but it does show you that it can do it up to an extent. Okay, so for this test here, we're gonna do a quick little race between the robot and myself. I'm gonna give the robot a little bit of a head start and go. And surprisingly, it is quite fast. pretty good so we're just doing a little off-road obstacle course and you can see how it's handling it very well it's actually uh adapted very well look at that it's like a little doggy running around <laughs> All right, well, there you guys have it. This year's the Unitree Go 2. Overall, a great robot for the price. Comes with everything that you would want out of a quadruped robot of its size, of course. And, of course, then some as well, where you can go ahead and add on different things as well, including a robotic arm, which I'm excited to say that hopefully in the future we'll be doing. Now, with that said, if you guys have any questions about this particular robot, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.